last person in the world that you'd expect to work for the Jewish state. He was a Nazi and as a colonel in the Waffen SS. He was, you know, famous for being a commando. You know, we don't know for sure that he was an anti-Semite, but really he was a Nazi. And yet the Mossad wanted him because he's so clever. And specifically, he was closely in touch with German Nazi scientists who, after the Second World War, had moved to Egypt where they were being paid to develop rockets and warheads. And the Israelis were really concerned about the Egyptian missile program, and they were desperate to find and get at those Nazis working in Egypt. 1962, he not only tracked one of the rocket scientists to Munich, Germany, for the Mossad, traveling with three Mossad men, including a future prime minister, Yitzhak Shamir, and Skorzeny himself pulled the trigger, murdering Heinz Krug, who was part of the rocket program. Why did Skorzeny do it? The Israelis never quite figured it out, but he seemed to have an enthusiasm. He loved action, so he became a hitman for the Israelis. 